friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. We are ready to make a card together with you. Happy um, mid-October. October is such a nice month. The weather here in San Diego has been gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous not too hot which we usually have it's been really really pretty i'm just checking here to make sure we're going okay we're live that's the important thing and i just want to welcome you here ellie's got a little orange bow for october is kind of a kind of an orange month we think of orange for pumpkins and we think of um Halloween and fall and the beautiful leaves. We don't have too much fall here in San Diego, but um, we what we do have, we love. We do have trees that do turn colors, um, but not the palm trees. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. Let me know if you're on so I can say hello. Today we have, we are gonna make pumpkins. Today we're gonna make 3D pumpkins. And I'm so excited to show this to you. Uh, you may know this technique, but we're going to make both a card and both some and some 3D pumpkins. Um, hi, Kay, Allison. Good to see you. Um, one thing I wanted to talk to you about is our prizes from last week. You know, every time if you comment, you get put in the random number generator. And last week, our prize was um, some darling metallic pearls. And these are going to come in so handy um, with our all of our holiday things. And the winner was Christy Chance. So, hi Patricia, hi Sharon. So Christy, if you pop on, I'll try to remember to let you know. I'll get these in the mail to you because I do have your address. And the rest of you, make sure to comment today like you are so that you have a chance to win. And next week's prize, um, are these beautiful I want to say they're right they're they're called gold holly leaves but they are so beautiful if any of you have them uh, you know how gorgeous they are they're intricately embossed and sparkly and I'm just using them on everything and I happen they're you know they're currently available but I I got quite a few and so I have a couple extras that I thought I would give to you guys for your holiday for your holiday um, stamping and creating. Yes, congratulations to Christy. Okay, what else is new? Oh, my class to go. So you all know that every month I do a class to go and this month I'm going to put Ellie down because I want to show you everything. She's going to go take her nap. And what I do with my class to go is um, it's all, in everything is included, either a stamp set or a bundle of and you can choose whether to get which one to get. And this month, the stamp set is the Words of Cheer, and I I did it because I want. This is my holiday, really my holiday class to go. This is a beautiful bundle. I'll get my fingers out of the way. A beautiful stamp set. It has lots of great sentiments. Kind of almost anything you want to say. Happy Christmas, Christmas cheer. Um, lots of words that you can kind of put together and a beautiful floral with poinsettias in it. But what I actually love the most, I love the stamp set, but what I love the most is the dies. These are the Christmas cheer dies and we're even going to use this happy today because I like it so much. I love word dies and this one has um, both happy and cheer. Let me get it over where you can see it. Here's cheer. You can uh, cut out the letters, but then you can put them on this background that fits them perfectly and has holly leaves and stuff. And the same with the happy down here. It also, you've got stars over here. It's really a great die set. I've already been using it on other things, you know, not even with the stamp set. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's a great die set. And you're also getting a half a pack of the Painted Christmas Designer Series paper. Plus, you're going to make six cards. I send you everything you need to make six cards, three of three different designs, two of each card. And everything you need, plus three PDF tutorials, one for each design, 
and a video tutorial which sums them all up and gives you little hints. I'm going to give you a quick glance at um, Pam. Good to see you. Thanks for sharing. Christy, you won the prize. I just see your name there. You won the metallic pearls. So I'll send those to you in the mail. Thanks so much for commenting. Congratulations, Christy. Okay, so the cards that you're going to make, and I don't show these. I'm going to show them really fast because this is what um, this, the people that take my class pay for. So, oh, I forgot to tell you the price. So if you get the whole bundle, um, it's $70 altogether, and that includes everything, the designer half pack of designer series paper, all the PDFs, the bundle, the mailing, everything. And if you want to just get the Words of Cheer stamp set, I will do all the die cutting for you and send that all to you with everything else, and that's $40. And all you have to do is email me, and I'll send you a PDF, uh, no, sorry, a PayPal, there's a lot of P's going on, a PayPal invoice. And um, my pr I have to pre-order it, and my pre-order it closes tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So if you're interested in this, let me know. Um, just email me and let me know and I'll, I'll take care of it from there. So just a quick glance at the cards in the October class to go. That's my holiday class to go. So here's a cute one that flips up. It has just a quick look, right? That is a gift card. You can put a gift card in there. Here is a really beautiful one. Okay, just a quick look. And here is what I think is my favorite. So those are your, you just got a very quick look. That's, you get all the instructions, all the papers, everything you need to make these six cards, six of these cards, two of each design, plus you'll have the stamp set and the dies to make tons of other cards, all of your holiday needs. So if you're interested, let me know before tomorrow at six o'clock. Hi, Tammy, good to see you. All right, today, today we're gonna make 3D happy 3d pumpkins small because they're so cute and i made this cute little basket um, for you and i want to get it so that you can see everything so there are three pumpkins and the pumpkin punch it's actually the apple builder punch that we're using to create this today now the apple builder punch was retired but it's in the clear on the clearance rack right now, marked down from $18 to $10.80. So I felt like I wanted to use it today and show you how to make these little 3D pumpkins. I created this cute little basket and I've got some of this uh, metallic mesh ribbon going all in there, all around it. Can you see how cute they are? I'll take one out and show you. Here's one of the pumpkins. Isn't that super cute? And I'm going to show you how to mail these and put them on a card or use them for place cards or anything else. So let's get started. Let me turn you down here. Okay, and here is the pumpkin I was showing you. I want to show it to you a little more close up. And the apple builder punch, I want to call it the pumpkin builder punch because it makes such great hi diane hi tammy thank you yes i think these are so so cute and you can do so much with them this is the apple builder punch but what i love about it is um well for apples for teachers all kinds i mean it's it's one i'm not giving away ever but what i like for the pumpkins the 3d pumpkins is it has kind of a flat bottom so as you can see on this one, it sits. And I'll take the rest out to show you. They sit up because it's, a, it's got kind of a flat edge there. And then it also has, I'm not using the little leaves, but that's a little leaf. But this is what I am using. Let me get that up where you can see it. That is the little stem on the pumpkin. And I've done this out of soft suede. So all the pumpkins have their little, um, their little stems. Now, you could use this for a place card for people coming for Thanksgiving or anything, if you're having like a ladies brunch. Um, and what I, I didn't do it because I didn't want to mess these up because I thought they were cute in the basket. But just a little piece, a little strip of basic white uh, cardstock 
sticking out that you could glue right on the corner and you could write the person's name like mom <clears throat> um, grandma you know whatever Sally um, and stick that on and this these would be such cute little place cards you have that punch Marcia great so they can be place cards another thing you can do is you could um, put them on a little uh, a little piece of linen thread say and use them kind of like a little banner going out um, you can put them well I have my cloche and you know I've shown my cloche before and I'm gonna put them under my cloche after we're done here today and see if I can make a little arrangement and this metallic mesh ribbon oh my gosh it's so cute I mean it's adorable for uh, the holidays but also for Halloweeny kind of things this metallic mesh ribbon and it's so light I put it around my wreath you know how I do that wreath all the time okay now here is the card that I made it's just simple but to make you might be thinking oh my gosh how do I mail it well look it just folds down real easy and you pop it in an envelope and pop it in the mail super easy so let's get started and let's make one I'm gonna make a pumpkin to stand up first and I decided since I used all the pastels on the other pumpkins that I would use pumpkin pie cardstock. I cut strips two inches wide. So um, it, they mostly fit the pumpkin. There are very, little, very few crumbs. Because if you cut it bigger, then you're going to get all these crumbs. So about six is, the, is a very good number. Of pumpkins to have for the 3d effect and let me see I've got I've got lots of strips over here don't worry I'm not gonna run out so we're gonna do six that should be six right there we do have some crumbs but not as many as we could okay <clears throat> now there are a couple ways to do this and if you are a perfectionist and you like to have things just perfect by inches and so forth what you could do is you could score down the center of the pumpkin but you know it really doesn't show because you put the whole pumpkin together hi Kay good to see you um, what I do is I just actually fold them by hand and it doesn't it's not like an exact science it'll come together and look beautiful I do that and then I just press it down with my bone folder and I go around and do that um, for each one of these and then you may have seen how you glue these together it's really fun now you can I tried doing this the other day with a circle punch or a circle die and you know it just didn't come out as well because the apple punch has this darling little kind of V in there which really looks great for the pumpkin and again the flat edge so use whatever you've got if you if you've got you know circle punches or something give that a try but uh, from my experience the this apple builder punch is the way to go I think this could be fun you could put it on top of packages you can give it give these to grandkids you know I just think I like little 3D things, and I just think they're so cute. Or you could give them to your neighbor in a box of candy, say, basket of candy. Okay, so what you do is you, you just hold, you're gonna work on the back side. So we're gonna start with one back side, and we're just gonna glue that. I've got extra glue here today too, because it does take kind of a bit of glue because you have to glue each little piece together. There we go. It doesn't take a lot and you don't want to use a lot because you don't want it um, coming out but basically you just line it up there and you can also see the back and there you go there's one and you just keep doing that all the way around now if you're making a card you're not going to seal them together at the end because you're going to put this part on the on the card itself but if you're making an ornament, you're gonna seal that together. So, and all you need to do is just hold it a few seconds while that glue sets up. 
and they're quick to make. I made those three uh, that I showed you, the pastel ones, in about 10, about 10 minutes. They're kind of a quick and easy little fun fall, fun fall craft. That's something interesting to say, fun fall craft. Let me see my comments. How are you guys doing? Let me know. Tell me how you're doing. Um, and what's going on? Let's see. Adorable. Yes, you're leaving me some really nice comments. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to, it's looking like I might be having a little bit of transmission trouble. I'm going to try to do a little kind of a reset thing. Okay, it looks like we're doing good. Sometimes we have trouble with the internet, you know, you all know how that is. Okay, so we're on actually the last little um, pumpkin that we're going to glue on there. Just like that. And now they're all glued together except the back. And let's see, this is the back. And you know what, if it doesn't come out even, it's not a problem. It's a little open back there. You can still put it right on your card just like that. And nobody is gonna know, know better. And actually it works out kind of well if you wanna stick something in there. Um, like you could stick a ribbon in there and tie a bow up at the top, something like that. So there's your, now I'm not going to glue it together because I'm going to use it on our card here in a minute. But you can see how it would work. Now I'm going to grab a little piece of soft suede um, cardstock, a little strip, like a one inch strip. And I love the way this punch does it here. It has this lined off area. So all you do is put your, you just put your cardstock corner right in there and it fits perfectly. And then you just punch that little, punch out that little guy, the little um, stem. Let me get him, He's, they're so small it's a little hard to see. So there's your stem, that little tiny stem. And if you're going to use it, um, to be sitting around as, a, as an actual 3D favor or something, you're gonna put a little glue on and you're just gonna slide it right in there and it sticks perfectly. And that's how the, I've done these. You can see if you look really close, I've just stuck them right in that center. But for this one, I'm going to put this actually on our card. So that's how you make the 3D one for a favor or something. Now we're gonna make our card because I just wanted to show you how, how versatile this little pumpkin is, this little 3D pumpkin. He's just so cute. Okay, now the first thing we're gonna put on our white card base, basic white, is a piece of um, basic black cardstock. I thought I would add a little black just for the Halloween season. I'm not really a big, scary, person, you know, as far as making scary cards or things like that. I don't really do that. But I do like to be, be festive, a little bit festive. So this time we're going to use, um, so what we're going to do, we've got our piece of basic black. Now this is uh, four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to put a strip of pumpkin pie cardstock in there. This is two inches and we're going to trim it to five and a half. So let me get out my trimmer, my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer, and here we go with, that should be two inches by five and a half, and then I'm just going to adhere it right on there. It might be not, it might be a little over. Let me check again. I think it adds just a bit of interest to add another layer of cardstock in there. we're pretty we're good I'm, maybe the card you know there's just those minute little short areas let me see I think I'll glue it on and then if I need to trim it I can just a little bit of glue and what I was hoping for is to just have this a similar distance right here as I had from the edge. So all of these look kind of like little frames. Kind of like that. 
Now, just because I had a bit of trouble there, I'm going to turn this over and just trim. Sometimes we're off by just a hair, and I like it to be even. What about you guys? I bet you do too. Let me see what I've got. Every morning makes it tough to see your favorite. Um, oh, transmission. Yes, I agree. Everything is having transmission troubles. I do agree. We have um, Hulu, I think it is, and we have trouble with that coming in. Okay, we're not going to think about that. We're going to think about cards. And so right now we're going to cut. This is a piece of the cute Halloween designer series paper. And I just thought we'd change it up a little bit. And so we're going to um, bring this in to five and cut this to uh, three and three quarters. And we'll see how this looks. You know, it's just nice to layer some different, um, different layers. It always adds interest to your card. So if we bring it over to the right hand side, I think that's gonna look kind of nice. And that becomes the background, the whole background for our adorable 3D pumpkin. So let's bring him in right there. Isn't that cute? I just, I really like this design as a setup for any card, any colors. I'll bring it up closer so you can see. So you've got the card base, you've got like an eighth of an inch of the card base, an eighth of an inch of the basic black, an eighth of an inch of the pumpkin pie, and then you have the designer series paper. But I've got it all aligned on this side so that all you see is the basic white. I think it's just, it's just a nice kind of different way to do it. Okay, now, the first thing I'm gonna do, remember our sample card, I like to bring that in to show you where we're going. So we need to cut out our word happy. And the happy, again, is from the Christmas cheer dies that you'll get as part of my uh, October class to go if you decide to take it. And I'm going to bring in my little baby boss. We're going to use that one die. And I've got a piece of black cardstock here. I, you know, you're probably going to just see this happy a lot because I know I've already used it and I really, really like it. So, I'm just telling you, it's, it could be on my list of favorite things. I don't really have a list. I know some, some demos do. I probably should have one, but, you know, as time goes on, you, you like other things, right? You kind of begin to like, um, well, I might have something like, I didn't really know how much I would like this until now. In fact, I didn't even get it at the beginning when I made my pre-order. So here's our cute little word happy. And we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on our card, but we're gonna put some layers of our metallic mesh ribbon underneath. So I'm just gonna cut some of that off. And what you do is just layer this and at an angle and the glue is gonna go through the mesh. Okay, so I've got it folded over right here like this. Can you even see it? It's so light. Can you even see that? Okay, so I've got it folded over. And I think I'll turn it over because it's curling. Well, both sides are curling up, aren't they? Can you see that? See how it's curling up? <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad, Marsha. Okay, so this is how I want my word happy to go. And so the way I adhered it earlier is I just turned this whole thing over in my hand and just put my little glue bits on it. Let's see if we can be successful with that this time. I just put dots of glue right through the mesh. Just little dots, not a lot. To where it's it's going through to the um, cardstock, but it's also adhering the mesh. And let's see how this is going to turn out now. I don't think I'm getting it quite as good as I did the last time. You just have to hold it down a few minutes. 
to get it to move through the mesh and onto the cardstock and for everything to adhere. I tried it and it, and it worked the last time, so. <laughs> Let's see. There's a little dot of glue. I'll move that off. It's starting to adhere. Yeah. So it's working. Yay! And I'll just press that down a little bit more because I know I have glue under there. It just takes a minute for it to work through. Isn't that kind of cute with that mesh underneath? I'll hold it up so you can see it because I know it's kind of invisible. Can you see that mesh now? Do you see that? It, it really gives it a fun little spooky iridescent kind of look. Okay, now we're ready for our pumpkin. And here are the places that were separated before. And what we're gonna do is we're going to adhere our pumpkin right on like that. And I want the pumpkin to really stick down well. Um, you could use tear and tape. I am gonna use some of my um, Stamp and Seal Plus. I really like the way it holds. It, it's very secure. You just have to advance it a little bit in between. But I love the way it works. And I can put it right on the seam too because we're placing that seam down. And so we hold both of the ends and just press that on there like that. And then we're gonna fluff up our little pumpkin sides. Isn't that just kind of cute? Now, when you do the card, I found it's easier to put the little stem of the pumpkin on with a little multi-purpose glue rather than inside the pumpkin as I did with the, um, with the 3D one if you're gonna have it stand up like a favor. So I'm just gonna tuck it right down there and there's your card. Isn't it? I think that's just kind of cute. And you can use any designer series paper. I mean, I happen to use the, um, the cute Halloween because I knew it pulled in the colors that I wanted. And then again, to mail, you just press that down, press it down in the center and pop it in your envelope. And when it arrives, hopefully they'll know to pop it up a little bit or you could tell them to pop it up. And I think this would be just really cute with a little bit of Halloween candy for the neighbors or a family member. Um, happy Halloween. And here's the lighter color. And you can do this, you know, you can use any color. You can use just anything. As you see, I've made pumpkins out of so many different colors. You know, right now the pastels are just in. And I've been making a lot of pumpkins and a lot of Halloween cards. I think I'm going to have to slow down here because... We need to move into Christmas. I've got a good Christmas one for you tomorrow on my blog. I hope you guys check out my blog. I try to post the blog cards on here every day um, on the Facebook page so that you can grab those and know how to do them. Okay, I'm gonna come back now. Let's see. There we go. Thank you so much for popping by. I hope you really like the little pumpkins and the pumpkin basket, and I hope there it's a help to you for things to do during this season. Um, and you can use these, like I said, all the way up to Thanksgiving. Stick them in flowers, stick them everywhere. I think you'll have a lot of fun with them. I really thank you for popping by, and um, have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you next Friday. Okay, bye-bye.